Victor and here with a new Blast from the Past uh, video and this time I want to share a book that is from 96 if I'm not wrong yeah it's from 1996 and it's the War Games Terrain, how to make War Games Terrain this was from Games Workshop I want to show you here how was the terrain when we start playing uh, or when I start playing uh, Warhammer or especially Warhammer 40k so this is a, a I yeah, was produced as by Games Workshop and it's how to make the rain with uh, uh, things that you have at home so you see they are using cardboard, uh, carton board uh, you will see that there is, it's quite interesting and, and we are going to see here, I just want to share with you what you can find so here they talk about designing the battlefield and this is a little bit of background tools that you may need so that's quite interesting and then uh, other materials and they put what was interesting for me, they put the cartons or cardboards from Kellogg's or any other uh, thing from cereals or any other thing that you can use. We have cork, we have all, all the see, you see here there is not uh, any of the uh, regular materials from, so there is no materials from Games Workshop. Even the sand is sand from the beach or something like that. The cocktail sticks, so all, all this type of stuff, stones. So it's quite interesting that they were showing, you see this here we have the old paints, the very old paints from Games Workshop. So this is quite an old book, so they talk about safety and how you have to be also how prime and how to do it, do it in a safety way. So all, all of this stuff, it's quite interesting. Uh, the working area, it's curious that they talk about the, here we have Andy Chambers. Okay, and then they talk about making the bases and then you see that they use corrugate board or you can use cork so it's, it's I think uh, it's a great inspiration how to make surface and this with the white foam and then now we go into the Warhammer scenery itself they talk about the warping so I, I think it's quite an, a good book to, to, to have a read and if you like terrain it's for a basic terrain but I think at the end it's, it's a so they talk about how to make hills and the hill shapes and what materials to use, how to make it and the materials to use uh, the finishing torches uh, how to make woods and I don't remember if they have woods at this moment on time in, in Gage Workshop let me see if in the beginning they show any material at this one Gage Workshop but I don't think they have two trees at this moment in, in time so they were using more likely trees from other land lines and here they say here explain you how to make your own trees okay so here you have the explanation how to make your own trees uh, how to make bridges uh, rivers I did this tutorial uh, while, while uh, along in the past it's quite easy to follow and you can make nice and modular rivers following this this uh, this tutorial here how to make bridges a very easy thing and different templates for bridges and here we have how to make the water effect and marshes so you see all the more natural type of things real mounds, uh, rocks and stones and then we have how to make buildings okay and we have here from the huts very simple buildings for example for orcs towers uh, peasant cottage and here we have uh, even we have some um, very simple uh, drawings uh, the, how to make the this is also how to make the uh, roof and uh, how to make the, this thing on the roof so how to make the doors uh, all, all the uh, ruin temples so there is fences so it was really an interesting book and, and this is the type of terrain that Games Workshop was doing at the moment on time so they were using uh, this cardboard combined with plastic uh, parts uh, this was the typical terrain from the moment and I still have some of this terrain this was also the type of terrain that was coming in the box was all cardboard terrain and then we go to Warhammer 40k uh, so here we have to make a status of course using a miniature you can make a very nice statue and uh, how to make a Warhammer 40k a scenery and we start with the rocks again and then they tell you how to do palm trees uh, how to make this type of uh, cactus uh, Quarters, a way to make quarters, there are different ways to make quarters, also how to make uh, this type of 
one can like things or deposits or buildings uh, and here is more advanced how to make this type of fences and and things and on here ring buildings how to uh, industrial site uh, a steep pyramid uh, so you see that is this and, and for me what was interesting is if you can find this book you can find and then there is special projects and more complex so this is more the last part is more a showcase and here more advanced tools this is very important for me i think in the hot room gun this is also an important one even for two minute metal miniatures so we see here some special features how to use other types of was I think at the moment in time that they were not able to do the piece of terrain that they do today they were uh, asking us to use more our imagination and our skills to make our own pieces of terrain so you see this one like a crash uh, spaceship so really really uh, we go really to the to the origins of and then we have the modular tables at the end okay, the of the rain. Uh, it was for me what is interesting is how this has evolved so this is the terrain the age worship terrain from the 90s so this was how the age worship was facing was making the terrain in the 90s and now we can see how this has evolved to the today uh, to the current days no uh, it's really a big evolution and if you want to see here images of the type of battlefields they were doing uh, they were uh, making this type of uh, uh, things here so you see that the the, the big evolution that we have uh, on and you see this was, was also good how to make use of the white foam of the cases to make the ruins so really it was a really neat thing and I think I just wanted to share with you you can find this I think in eBay so if you think that this is interesting uh, I, I bought this not too far ago in eBay, so I, I'm pretty sure that you can find a copy of this in eBay and it's a reasonable price normally. So it's not, a, it's, and you can see that there is uh, from very basic things to more advanced. And if you want to make your own terrain, I think this is, this is a good enough. So it's 81 pages and it's called War Games Terrain from 1996, but I think it's still applicable today. I hope you find this book interesting and now you see the evolution of terrain in Gage Workshop and how the uh, Gage Workshop is facing how to make the terrain for your tables. That's all for now. I hope you find this video interesting. Leave the comments, give a like if you have liked this video. And as usual, thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye!